Hi guys, well in this exercise we're on the iPad purely doing the whole exercise on the iPad and we're going to be creating a Christmas scissor skill activity book for kids in Affinity Designer on the iPad purely. The whole lot, even putting the booklet on uh, onto KDP, all done on the iPad and an iPad Mini 5 at that so don't think they don't have the power. Now, downloading your first interior collection is fairly easy and if you've watched any of my other videos you may be aware that this is very easy to do. There are a number of Christmas book interiors you can download from the providers like Creative Fabrica which is where I'm sourcing my interiors from and all links can be found in the description below this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it helps me count the views. Of course, there are many other types of interiors as well, and we'll look at those later. For now, let's start with the Christmas Scissor Skill Book for Kids. Don't you just love it, kids with scissors? What could be more fun? Now, downloaded and unpacked, this is what the bundle contains. Two folders, one with PDFs and one with PNGs. Now, let's explore the files and see how we use them in Affinity Designer. You'll see there are PDF and PNG files. For Designer, we want the PDF files. You could use the PNG files if you wanted to, but it's a lot of extra work. And really, you don't want to go there. Not with Designer. So let's now load our file into Designer and have a look at what we've got. Select New. That's New File. That's the plus sign. Open from the cloud. I presume you're using the cloud. If you're not, you'll have to open it from wherever you've downloaded the files to. And navigate to your folder containing the files you just downloaded. Select the PDF file. And in this case, it's called Scissor Skills. What else? You'll be presented with the screen you see here. 26 pages. Just nice. Keep in mind, if you have an even number of pages, it will make life a lot easier at printing time. Although these pages will be cut out eventually, so it's not really important. Photocopying each page will work without destroying the finished book. So, if you've got the children in front of this book, you don't have to let them cut the book up if you don't want to. You can save it for next Christmas. Just photocopy or scan each page. Feel free to do that. Now I need to mention Bleed and the iPad because Affinity have not yet worked out how to do Bleed with artboards on the iPad in a useful way. In fact, it's as good as doesn't work at all. It's there but it's less than optimal as of release 1.10.19 on the iPad. So let's see. If you can get the Bleeds to work properly on this, then let me know please, because I'm dashed if I can. However, there are, a work, there are workarounds. First, we need to adjust the document bleed settings. Go to the layers and select all the layers, all the artboards. You can see there they're kind of grey, which means they're all selected. Next, go to documents in the toolbar and select bleed. And you can see down the bottom there, I've got the context toolbar up. If your documents are set to points, which mine is, as the units, type in 9 points. That's the equivalent of 0.125 inches. That's the size of the bleed you want. Designer will not save this setting. Is it effective? I'm not sure. I'm not even too sure that Designer is actually going to use these bleed settings. But we'll use them anyway, just in case. You can't see the bleed, but don't worry. When you're in export mode, because that's your document finished basically, you've just fiddled around with the bleeds. Check that everything's in place and that you've got 26 pages, a nice even number of pages. You don't need to worry about a cover page, anything like that. We're going to do that in KDP. So let's just export the PDF. In export mode, select PDF and sec select the option for PDF press ready. It's the only option that will enable bleed in the right hand side options. You can see it over there. And although it's not in highlight mode, I've got no idea, but it does switch it on. 
anything else, it'll switch it off. So maybe they're saying it's on by default. We'll see. Now, set the area to selection only. You still have all the layers selected, right? I would advise experimenting with this. Um, you never know. It may come good in a future release. I certainly hope so. However, not to make a big deal of it, when your document is exported and you investigate it, you can click the info key and each page will be 8.5 by 11, which is what we want. That's your PDF size. The document prints out as pages, just as you like. So you can see all the pages down the left hand side. It's not in spreads, it's not in double sheets, it's in separate little pages, but all in one file of course. In a file called, you guessed it, Scissor Skills. Now to send it to KDP and see what happens. See how easy that was? You've downloaded the book interior into Designer. Just check to make sure it's all there. Now, if it hasn't got an even number of pages, maybe it's got 27. Ta-da! Add a page. Add an artboard that's exactly the same size. But don't add blank pages. KDP will reject your book if it finds blank pages in it. Don't have blank pages. Now, let's send it to KDP. Now, log into KDP. I'm assuming you've got an account and things like that there. If you haven't, spend the time to fiddle around and set up your account. You'll have to do things like setting up your tax file number and all that sort of thing. Oh, it's a real labour. So set aside a morning for it at least. Don't try and rush that part of it. If you don't get it right, KDP will reject anything you try and do with it. Make sure you get it right. Now, when you get to the section where you're going to upload your book, fill in your details. Now, you can see there um, the language it's in, the title, Christmas Scissors Skill for Kids. Easy. And the subtitle, 25 pages. That just lets people know how many pages are in the book. It's not a series, nothing like that. Very straightforward. You've got to make this as simple as possible. Pick black and white for the colour. You don't want coloured books, even though you're going to colour it in. If you select colour, uh, and you've got black and white anyway, but colour will make it more expensive. Now, you've got to keep this book as cheap as possible. It is, after all, a book that's going to be cut to pieces, probably. Now, get the size right. Remember I said before it's 8.5 by 11? It's a black and white interior with white paper. And I've selected 8.5 by 11. You can see on the just to the right of that it says select a different size. Well, I've done that already because the default size is not 8.5 by 11. Now, 8.5 by 11 may sound reasonably large, but... They're kids you're dealing with. They need a big piece of paper. Now, bleed settings. No bleed or bleed, PDF only. Now, if you're submitting a PDF to KDP, what they don't say there is, if you're submitting a PDF, you really need bleed settings set. If you don't tick that, you'll probably have your book rejected. And they'll say there's something wrong, they may not tell you what it is that they've found wrong and you'll have to do it again. Just whatever you do, click bleed, PDF only. Now, it's a paperback matte finish. Everything else on the page is fairly standard. Upload your PDF file. Make sure bleed is checked and KDP will complain if you don't. So you've got PDF there. Now, upload paperback manuscript. Now, paperback scissor skills PDF, bit of a tongue twister, uploaded successfully. It's a very small file, it just whizzes up there. And beneath it, it says processing your file. I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, the next tab is book cover. Use cover creator to make your book cover. You can upload your own image or use KDP's stock images. Now, don't go messing around uploading your own image for these sorts of books. If you're writing War and Peace or something like that, a huge book that's going to make you famous and will live on through history, by all means, have your own cover. 
for these low content books and books like this use KDP covers. They've got thousands of images there. They do it automatically and you can't go wrong. So launch cover creator. You can see it's still saying processing file there. I've got launch cover creator ticked there. Now, they present you with lots of images, and I haven't shown them here because there's too many of them. But there's a whole range of options, everything from art through to motorsports, through to holidays, through to Christmas periods. And you go through the images, and you can see the top there, choose design, style and edit, and preview. Now, I've done that. And that's the image I've ended up with. Now that's the front cover and the back cover, all in one. Landscape images work best. They've got portrait images there, but they're really hard to get to, to fit. So don't bother trying. Just use a landscape image. You'll have trouble if you select portrait. Now remember I'm on the iPad and this can be a bit of a fiddle in some areas on the iPad. So you don't want to make life hard for yourself. Now. The, the page is usually covered with placeholders. There's all the back matter. There's a photo placeholder where you can put a picture of yourself. Um, there's text placeholders where you can write your life story and all the rest of it. You can just tap on those to remove them if you like, or you can fill them in. You can uh, write your own. Tell people who you are, what you are, and why you're spending hours producing a book that kids are going to cut to shreds. <laughs> okay. Now, wait for KDP to finish processing your files. Once you've done your cover and saved it, right, this is the next stage. You can, you can see there it still says processing your file and the cover uploaded successfully and it's processing your file. Now, go and make a cup of coffee and wait for that processing to finish. You don't have to keep refreshing the page or anything. It'll do it itself. When it's finished processing, it will come back to you and those words will disappear. Then you're ready to go on. Now, the next thing will be to launch the preview. But don't launch the preview until the processing your file um, text has disappeared. Now, you can see there it's disappeared. It just says manuscript uploaded successfully. There's no file processing going on. So far, so good. And you can actually see a little thumbnail of your cover there because it's telling you it was successful. Now, when both files are green to go, click preview and wait. It can take a few minutes usually. Now, if you've got quite a few pages in your book, it can take quite a while. Looks good, okay. Now you can see they've put their ISBN number on the back because you did tick use KDP's ISBN number. Don't put a fake number in there or use your own number. It's not worth it. They're worth quite a bit of money an ISBN number to buy. So use a KDP number. Looks good. You're happy with it. And that one's quite different. And there's a bit of a quality check. There's some information on there. Please check. Um, anything that's wrong will be very much highlighted. So you're probably okay there. And it's a two-page view. And on the iPad, I don't seem to be able to scroll from page to page because the iPad screen's too small. Mine certainly is. It's an iPad mini. And it warned me of that, but I continued anyway. And I got that. Now in the bottom right hand corner, you can see approve or exit print previewer, but approve is what we want. Click approve and wait a moment. Check the summary that comes up next. It's fairly important. Now everything's done, you're still on that page. You've launched the preview, you've had a look and you've approved it. Now your printing costs are there and what that's telling you is that it's going to cost $2.15 US to print your book. That's the actual print cost. Page count 26. Trim size 8 by 3 by 8.5 by 11. 
That's the trim size. You know what the trim size is, don't you? That's how big your book is after it's been cut by the printers. It's a paperback. The finish is matte. Bleed settings. Bleed PDF only. Ink and paper type. Black and white interior with white paper. That's all there is to it. Then you press save and continue. When you do that, you get onto the last page, paperback rights and pricing, the last tab. The next or last tab page is, comes up where you set your pricing. Now you're using a KDP ISBN, so you're limited to their distribution. But that's okay. There's millions of people use it anyway. So you're not going to go short of potential readers. You don't need to distribute it wide and through all the other publishers, etc. Like I said, if you're producing a new version of War and Peace, well, maybe you want to go wide. But for this book, no. Just stay on KDP and it makes life a lot easier. Now, doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can set your prices. And I've set mine to Amazon.com. I just leave it on that. It's the default. And I use US prices. When it comes to your town, they'll convert the prices and you'll see all that shortly anyway. Now, I set this book to $5.95 US, which is pretty cheap, let's face it. That's, but it's not a bad price for kids. And you can see you get your... your um, your um uh the benefits from it there i can't i can't read that you don't want expanded distribution there you go so that's how much you'll make on it um amazon.co.uk that'll come to four pound 39p with one pound 70 um printing costs and 60 percent is the rate for royalties which is mm, What's that say? 83, 83p. So every one of those I sell, I'll make 83p. But that's not bad. Okay. What did it take me? About an hour. Now it's time to take a deep breath and hit publish. Publish your paperback book. You're happy with everything that shows up there? And I would certainly suggest on this first exercise, don't fiddle about too much. But get your paper sizes right. And make sure if you upload a PDF to click on Bleed. Now, publish your paperback book. Click on the yellow tab there. And after a moment or two, up it comes. Christmas Scissor Skills for Kids. 26 pages. $5.95 US dollars. That'll, that's how it'll look in um, KDP on Amazon in the book section. Now you can publish your book as a Kindle ebook. <laughs> now why you do a colouring in book on on Kindle, I don't know. But um, if you're really crazy, you can. Maybe you could download it and and uh, print the pages out or something. I don't know. But you don't need it as an ebook, so don't bother, don't bother messing with it. Just makes your life difficult. You can if you want it. Now how easy was that? And every bit of it done on the iPad. From downloading the interior, uh, creating a file in Designer, and uploading it to KDP, to making the video that I've now put on YouTube, that you're watching now. All done on the iPad Mini 5. So don't let anybody tell you it can't be done. Now, that's what it'll look like on KDPAmazon.com. That's the last thing. See, Christmas Scissor Skills for Kids, the top booklet there, it's in preview, in review, which means it's not actually live yet. You can't buy it because it's in review. But it takes a couple of days, that's all it takes. The Christmas Colouring Book is live, $5.95, and Christmas Activity Book, $7.95, the one below it. Both live, but... I expect, unless there's some major problem they pick up, um, I'm not too sure what they'd be, because it seems to have gone through fine. In the reviews, preview sections that you went through, if there's errors, they'll show up there. 
Remember that over Christmas, KDP closes for holidays, but usually just a few days. I think they close for about a week, maybe two, not too sure. But anyway, review can take anything from a couple of days to, if it's a big book, a couple of weeks. So don't pester them, don't badger them. I'm sure they're very busy people and they will get back to you. So thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up in the, in the um, YouTube tabs and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. The thumbs up um, actually is a counter and it, quite apart from the fact that it tells people you like my content, it helps me to count the number of views I've had and the number of people who've actually liked it. See you next video, folks. Enjoy.